Welcome to the Gamers Guild Weekly Show with Hop. This is where you'll find all that's going on inside the Gamers Guild Discord, as well as some fun and gaming information you may not have even know you needed. And now, here's Hop. And yes, welcome to the Gamers Guild Weekly Show. I am Hop, that's me. And uh, I'm glad, glad you all are here. Do me a favor, if you're here, make sure that you hit that like button and leave a comment. Talk a little bit about what you see and hear and enjoy out of this episode. Also, if you wouldn't mind and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you'll know exactly when new content comes out here on my channel. This is the Gamers Guild Weekly Show, and I'm excited about it, as always, because this is about our community, the Gamers Guild. The Gamers Guild, we are a group of people who come together and we just enjoy gaming. Uh, we used to be, of course, Architects Official, but now that collaborative has been evolved into something different. And this Gamers Guild has now been around for a few months and we are enjoying playing all sorts of different games together. So what more could you ask for? Each week we put out a Gamers Guild Gazette. And uh, the most recent one just come out on Friday. Let's take a look at it right now. So here we are with the edition number nine, the Guild Gazette from June 28th. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay. <laughs> the Guild Gazette. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it is, this gives us a lot of information of what's going on. Uh, what's going to be happening, and also uh, things that are happening in the Discord community uh, for the Gamers Guild. So hopefully uh, you pay attention to what's going on here uh, in this gazette. In here we talk about the shoulder pet taming event that is going on this weekend. It, there's times both on Saturday and on Sunday where shoulder pets are being tamed. All sorts of shoulder pets, I would assume. And I'm uh, pretty certain we're going to have pictures and uh, results and stuff from that next week uh, on here on the Gamers Guild Weekly Show. If you're new to the Discord, as you can see right here, uh, you can ping Shiloh the question to the uh, the answer to the question. The question for the newcomers is how many bones? I guess it's over here. Uh, do sharks have how many bones? Do sharks have? Uh, go ahead and ping Shiloh uh, if you uh, got the answer to this one. We also have the community contributions. And as you can see from these contributions, these are different pictures and screen caps that are found on the Discord uh, for different things. And here we have Henry Manson's home sweet tent uh, that he has created there on the center, which I think is a pretty interesting uh, looking concept. I think that's pretty sweet. We also have Corrupt Collagen and her Minecraft overlaps, uh, which look like a giant mine tunnel, and that's kind of cool looking, especially with the uh, the purple elements there in the middle. Also, we have Crazy Panda, also known as Lord Babbitt, with a uh, picture of a Pal World Pal that uh, shows exactly uh, what's going on there in Pal World uh, with some of the new stuff coming out there. And then, of course... Nymeria, uh, one of the uh, one of the many items that are for sale or for trade in the Gamers Guild trading section. Nymeria has this beautiful and fairly familiar looking 310 UD for sale. And uh, I'm sure that there's even more where that came from. So uh, congratulations to all four of you that got selected for the uh, screen caps. You will get your thousand salvi for being featured here on the weekly show as soon as this goes live. And some of the announcements and reminders. And that's what I want to focus on is that side. We'll get to the other side later. Very well, the Volunteer of the Month winner for July is going to be uh, announced right now. Uh, for the last week, there has been voting going on. And the winner is Gaffa. Congratulations, Gaffa, on being our Volunteer of the Month for July. Now, we have some changes coming to this program, and I want to go over those with you uh, right now. So let me take you to the Discord and show you. As you can see, this is now called the Member of the Month. 
Instead of just singling out our volunteers, we are now opening up to anybody in the community. Anybody. They do not have to be a volunteer. They could just be a player in the cluster of maps here on the Discord. All they have to do is be a member and be a player, and they can be the member of the month. Uh, this basically is the same idea. You go through, and it's it's the idea that any nomination, you can, you can nominate somebody for any reason whatsoever. Uh, someone was nice to you on a map, send in a nomination. Somebody uh, helped you from nearly dying in Minecraft. Hey, guess what? Send them a nomination. And all you got to do is do it this way. I'm going to take you through the process real quick right now. You go to the bottom of this, make a nomination, you click on that. When you click on that, you're going to be taken to a new page. And it is a form in Google Docs, uh, this form for nominations. Now, you will know who you're going to nominate. Well, let's nominate Fire Pumpkin. Why are you nominating this, this community men, member? For putting the funniest date ever on a gazette. <laughs> the 28th. And then you have to put your name here. Okay, now there's reasons for that. Uh, we, number one, are keeping track. One person can only make five nominations per nominating period. Okay, because we're paying 500 salvi for every nomination that is turned in. But we also want to make sure you're not nominating yourself. So we have the name attached to the end of it. Once you fill out all that... It's very simple. Click submit and you're done. It's been recorded. That gets sent to uh, the email address for the uh, CFO account and I will add it into this area and bring it up underneath so people can see who all is being nominated for the member of the month. The last week of the month uh, nominations will be turned into a voting block uh, through the uh, special uh, through the special uh, voting situation bot that we have now that makes everything secret. You can vote. Nobody can see who you voted for. Nobody can see what the current percentages are. So that way, everything is on the up and up and above board. When it's all said and done, right here on the weekly show, we will announce the winner. So good luck, everybody. And uh, as we get into July, remember, it's member of the month, not volunteer of the month. Happy nominating. Now, on to the next section of the, which seems to be one of the more popular sections, our create, uh, our Creature Corner interview. The Creature Corner interview this week is the Argentavis. And I say it like that for a reason. You'll understand as we get into it, but let's go to the footage now. Well, thanks for being with me here today, Argentavis. I really do appreciate you joining me today. Well, hello. Oh. You're a human. What did they call you? Oh, yes, a survivor. Well, yeah, you should feel privileged that I didn't show up today. I really need to speak to my agent about these interviews. Well, I'm I'm more than just a little survivor. My name is Hop. I'm, I'm here to get some information from you. Okay, well, my time is very precious, sir. So please, ask your question. Obviously, when anybody makes a list of the best tames that you can have, uh, in this area, why why do you think you're so popular compared to all the other Thames and Flyers? Well, Henry, ha, I am the. It's ha. Oh yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, ha. Well, I am the ruler of the sky. We are the royalty. We rule the, the skies. We fly with such poise and grace, chest out, head up, tail into beak, struck. And that's, you think why that's what makes you popular when people vote for things? What else out there is there that can compare to us? What, you have the Tyrannodon that flap their wings all over the place, going left, right, up, down. And then there's what, the Tapahara? Sounds more like a pudding snack. Have you ever tried to pet one? No, they are the chicken of the sky, sir. Chicken of the sky. You, they're scared of their own shadows. So you have a, you have an interesting and saddle. Oh, this saddle, yes, yes. A very interesting saddle. Now, 
do you do you are you proud of the fact that you're a mobile smithy or do you find it annoying that you get put to such menial tasks well let me say you survivors break everything oh my armor is broke oh my weapons broke where do you go you come to us to repair it you should feel privileged that we even let you get into our saddle i mean without us you would be running around with raggedy broken gear and weapons and these saddles, I mean, you really need to get better quality. I mean, primitive saddles? <laughs> so so you really believe it should always be a higher level than primitive saddle that you're that you're seated with? Uh, there's multiple reasons for better quality saddles. One, better protection for me and the rider, of course. And two, they don't itch as much. They itch? Oh, primitive primitive saddles itch like crazy. Oh. Wow, I never knew things like that ruffled your feathers. <laughs> um, yes. Well, is there any more questions, um, Harlan? Because I have a tea date with my cousin. Okay, well, it's it's Hop. Um, I, I know I'm good. I'm going to let you go now and, and let you take off. But I really do appreciate you being my guest on this Creature Corner. It really was a pleasure and eye-opener. Yes, yes, it was your pleasure for even having me here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The Argentavis, everybody. <laughs> As you can see, um, the RG definitely has a peculiar attitude. Uh, that is only th a three-minute slice of what is nearly an eight-minute interview. You will be able to find the link in the description uh, for the full Argentavis interview. And uh, I hope that you will click on that and enjoy it as well. The next thing I want to talk about is the uh, Mega Dino Raffle. We held the Mega Dino Raffle during the big stream on Friday night, just a couple of nights ago. And we had a winner. And um, yeah, we, we made sure that the same guy that's won it three months in a row wasn't going to win it this time. Let's check out the footage. We had a lot of different people. Uh, Ginger has won the last three raffles. Ginger is not allowed to be in tonight's raffle. So, um, I made a deal with him that for this month, somebody else gets to win. <laughs> and he gets some gender swap potions in return. And he gladly accepted that deal. So, uh, so his normal 10 entries are not in here. So, as you can see, we have a lot of entries. There's still like 100 and, golly, 109 still. And um, I actually bought some to go with the tin that I usually get for my server and my tier. So I think I have like 15 of the 109 entries. I have the best chance to finally win one of these things in ASA. No, I didn't win. J West 3 is our winner of the Shastasaurus. So... Make sure you're paying attention to the game. I want to say congratulations to Jay West as he managed to pick up the Shastasaurus. Complete with, uh, I believe, you get a, um, a saddle on it. One of those nice submarine deals. So congratulations on that. And I uh, hope you play and enjoy it well wherever you have it roaming the seas in the arcs. Next month's Mega Dino Raffle I'm going to reveal it right now. For the month of July, we are going to have, you guessed it, the Ceratosaurus. The Ceratosaurus, one of the uh, Dino Editions dinos that was recently added. We have this beautiful pink slash magenta and black combination that's going to be given away. It will be a level 375, unbreedable, unclonable uh, version of the dino, but you will be able to to uh, get a raffle ticket and win this sucker. Now, here's the cool part. Raffle tickets are 5,000 solvi a piece right there in the admin shop. All you gotta do is go to the your ARC hub, go to shopping, and then you will be able to find the uh, raffle tickets. I believe they're either in the pack section um, or in the whatever section has the R uh, in the shopping list. So go there, get yourself some tickets, and take your chance at getting a level 375 Ceratosaurus when the drawing happens at the end of July. Good luck, everybody. Now it's time for the top 10 list. 
this top 10 list is going to be different from the top 10 list in the past. As you know, uh, I have a, a tendency to uh, wax eloquent and turn a five minute list into a 10 minute list. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be a David Letterman style top 10 list where I'm just going to give you a straightforward line and not just go into a long explanation of why it places where it places. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 things in gamers' heads. So here we are, top 10 thoughts inside gamers' heads, number 10. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course you're going to have that thought when something bad's getting ready to happen. Number 9. Why isn't this going like the video said it would? Number eight. If I only had a better graphics card. I don't know what game would make you want to say that. Hmm, I'm not sure. Number seven. Why are there so many prompts to purchase things? Yeah, I couldn't resist that one. Number six. I know I hit them. I know I hit them. <laughs> Every PvP player screams that, right? Number five, I need God mode for just this part. Just this one little part. Number four, just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. There's not a single gamer that's never uttered that phrase. Number three, Leroy Jenkins. And if you know, you know. See what I mean? Number two, another update. And of course, it's going to change everything. And the number one thought inside gamers' heads, cheaters! Well, you know, that's a pretty good top ten list of thoughts inside gamers' heads. Now let's talk a little bit about the content creator of the week. This week there is not one. There, there's not been one for two weeks. And uh, I will tell you why. The main reason there's not been one is simply because there's not been one that's qualified. Now I'm going to post what was said on the Discord in the content creator section. So she is saying, as Gamers Guild, we want to only promote ha what's happening here in this community and not elsewhere. Or to promote the content creation efforts of active, invested, involved community members. Therefore, our Discord is no longer available for unattached content creator advertisement. Any self-promoted content for the sake of growing one's views, subs, etc. should be about content made by and for this community, the Gamers Guild. Meaning either creating content on our maps and about our community or being an active community member in our Discord and not just here for the sake of posting content links when you spend time invested somewhere else. That's what having your own community or socials is for, to promote you. To summarize, content creators who are involved in this community and are just using us for exposure, please stop. We no longer wish to participate in that. We feel if anyone is continuing to do this, we will remove your self-promotion links. Instead, you may want to try other discords that allow that type of cross-promotion, such as the official discords of your chosen games. Thanks for your cooperation. So what you're seeing here is content creator of the week is something that we will be looking to give out to people who create content either about this Gamers Guild community or from one of the many games slash maps servers that this Gamers Guild community has under its umbrella. And so uh, whenever that is you are considering posting to that content creator board, we ask that you please keep that in mind. Uh, if you're not an active participant across the Discord, you're not an active member in that way, shape, or form, uh, then and you're just looking to have a place to shove your link into, uh, it seems like that's what we need. We're going to be taking action on right there. So I wanted to make sure everybody understood what future Content Creator of the Week awards are going to be given to, and they will not be given out if we don't have anybody qualified, because I will not give them out to myself and I'm not sure if Fire Pumpkin wants me to give one to her or not. But she may be the only other one for a while that, that qualifies. So we will see how that all works out in the coming time. Now, let's look at the upcoming events. The upcoming events, as you know, July 5th through the 8th, we have our Boosted Rate Weekend, which is the first full weekend of any given month. Uh, we have that Boosted Rates, and that means everything goes sky high. So make sure you get a chance 
uh, to run and do all your metal runs, do your baby raising, baby making, and all the other good stuff uh, during those boosted rates weekends. Don't forget to also on July the 5th, Hop and Fire are going to be having our weekly stream. I'm not sure what game it's going to be. We never really decide that until we get close to the time to go. So come on out and be part of our streams. Uh, we are considering some new things coming up, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, next uh, weekend, or two week, or the weekend after that, the July the 13th, there will be another taming event on the Ark Ascended Cluster of Maps. Uh, what kind of event? We don't know yet. I have not been told that. I just know it will be a taming event. We've done Rhino Not the Taming. We've done Shoulder Pet Taming. So who knows what will come next. And then, of course, on July the 20th, Fire's Community Game Night, where we get together, play Jackbox games, and pretty much make fools of ourselves with each other, which is a lot of fun. we just got to be honest about that. And that is what's upcoming here in the Gamers Guild Cluster. And that's about all we have for this edition of the Gamers Guild Weekly Show. I'm Hop. And uh, I hope that you'll consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel as we bring you even more information about the Gamers Guild. The link to the Discord is in the description, and I hope that we will see you again soon. Take care, everybody.